Uh, our last bit of news, uh, just a little a touch. So, Tyson Fury, <laughs> Tyson Fury, um, he did a promotion promoting the new game, Undisputed. I can't wait. I really, really like. I haven't got a PS5, but I'm going to buy one just for that game. That's coming Big out. Up, and, uh, get it. Everyone get them. it. Get Support it, the game. And we'll fight you online. <laughs> But uh, Paul, <laughs> Paul Dempsey, our good friend that we met, <laughs> he was interviewing Tyson Fury in his home, little 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 like mini docu docu documentary thing. And anyway, this is what he had to say about the Isik fight. And um, I find it is it worrying or is it positive? Let's see. And going into the rematch of Usyk, it's going to be the same. I'm going to roll the dice, and it's going to be you or me. Best foot forward and swing away. And I've never been afraid to get Knox Park out. And I've always put it on the line every time. So let's see if he's willing. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gearing up for the, uh, the, uh, the big ones. You've given us a big clue there. And I'm not surprised to hear what you've just said. There's, and it, there's no secret. I'm going in there to knock him out because yeah. I, um, I don't think I'm not going to get a decision, no matter what I do. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get a boxing decision. So I'm going to have to take it out of the judges' hands like I did in America that time. And I've got to get him out of there. I believe that in my mind, heart on hand on heart, I believe I have to get him out of there to get to see victory, for sure. To guarantee a victory anyway. And is that the kind of thing you now need at this stage in your career? 36, happy birthday Thank recently. You. Is that what you need now? Yes, Tyson? more than ever I need it now. That competitive step you've got yeah. to take. I've, I've been searching the world for 20 years to find someone who can challenge me. And we've got this guy now. I'm, I'm ready for a row. I um, can't wait. Can't wait for the challenge. And for the first time in years, I'm going in there as a challenger. Not a champion, and I, I believe I'm better as a challenger always because. Mm. What Ooh. are your thoughts? Is that yeah. is it is that is is it is it an attitude a good attitude, or is it bad? Like what what do you think? I think um, a bit of both. Yeah, I've always since following his career, and and I've had a bit of a kind of on off love hate thing with with Taz, like probably many fans. And trying to get, I've given up these days, trying to get a kind of psychological read on him, looking at body language, because he's a master trickster fury. He, he kind of, well, you yeah. see him in some interviews and he's, he's so sarcastic. So I'm just going off what he said. I think what's interesting, it, you know, there's a few things to this. I do agree with him. I think as a challenger, for me, he clearly loves a little bit to be the underdog. He seems to, every time I've written him off, and I've written him off a couple of times, he's like, after the first Wilder fight, when he was saying he was going to come in, step on him and give it, I was thinking, oh, that's a terrible idea. It turned out to be a brilliant idea. So who am I to say? So I think on one hand, being a challenge, I totally can see why uh, you <coughs> believe him. My concern is, is this, Chris, to, the, the caveat to it, is that, he, want, he, he doesn't think he's going to get a decision. Okay. The problem is with Usyk over Wilder. Wilder, you just have to worry about the right hand. You know, Wilder doesn't set it up. You know, he's just got it cocked. He's got it ready. Still dangerous, don't get me wrong. Fury's yeah. got good ring IQ, got good boxing IQ. Look, I'm not saying that can't work to, to step on Usyk and use his size and range, but... Usyk's got an in incredible amount of weapons to to use from his arsenal, from his toolbox. I, I just worry a little bit that if he does do that, goes gung-ho, he, he's got to use educated pressure. I, I, I think he might get clipped. I think he might get stopped by Usyk. That, that's just my feel. I want Fury to win, but that's my take on it. I think if he goes all out for that stoppage... He might just just very well get stopped yeah. himself. What what that's, are, what are your feelings on it? Um, for, firstly, like hands on heart, like he doesn't think he can get a decision. Like he shows me in his head, he thinks that he still that like, he won. He still thinks that he won that fight. And uh, until you can accept that you lost, yeah. it's hard to. Yeah. Like, see, see Wilder, that's why Wilder could never really improve. 
I like really he re he couldn't really improve and he would never never gonna beat Fury. He couldn't he couldn't get over the fact that he believed Fury cheated in the mm. first fight that was a draw and he believes that he won that first fight that um that Fury got a slow count or something and then he believed that and he and he because he couldn't get over it that's why like and it happens to a lot of fighters look at Tiafimo Lopez mm. he got beat by Cambosis and he can't accept that he that he lost making excuses and he doesn't even think that Cambosis really did enough to beat him anyway he feels like he should have that he should have won that fight in his head because he can't accept that he lost and what has Tiafimo Lopez done since that Cambosis fight absolutely nothing really he just beat Josh Taylor that's it he was on the slide like when if you don't accept that you've lost and how to improve you're never you're never gonna get better and that's one worrying thing for me with Fury say uh, and then the other thing is the strategy like you say Wilder is not Usyk Usyk if like, Derek has always tried that bomb rushing Usyk educating pressure it don't work because he figures you out he times you. He figures out your patterns. You're, like he, 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 he downloads them. He download. He might win. He might win three or four rounds, and then he's going to pick you apart, start hurting you, shots from all different angles, all over. It'd be like you're fighting three U six all at once, boom, 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 because he's so fast yeah. and, and 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 his and his footwork. Like so, mm. I just think. But then on the other hand, every time I rip Fury off in the McDermott rematch. Because the first fight was so <laughs> close, smashed it off, ripped him off against Wilder the first fight, ripped him off against Wilder the second fight. Because I thought he's not going, he's not going to knock him out. Klitschko? No, no, I bet him, I bet him to beat Klitschko. But like you say, when he's the underdog, he loves it. He loves proving people wrong. It's his brother Shane yeah. Fury did an interview, and you know what Shane said? I love Shane Fury. He always tells the truth. He said Tyson Fury is a shit champion. He's not a very good champion. Because it all goes yeah. to his hair and he just gets carried away. <clears throat> but when he's a challenger, he's, it, Tyson Fury is the best contender, world title challenger yeah. there is. I <coughs> think he's just not a good champion. Saying, man. It, it, I've definitely got this. With, it's almost like, and you, you get this with, uh, I know like oh, that's a weird comparison to make, but like Trump, like Donald Trump, it's like they, they want people to dislike them and write them off because it's like they go, right, I want to fucking show you, 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 and you. But when, yeah. when they're the president, when they're, um, when they're the champion, I, I don't know if he gets complacent fury or he takes his eyes off the ball, but he, he definitely is definitely summing in him. He almost he's a disruptor. He, he just sort of wants to wind people up and wants people to be against him. And it seems yeah. to be, you get this with some sportsmen, Djokovic in tennis is like this. He plays the villain on the court. And when the Wimbledon crowd start booing him, he, he loves... Oh. Hang on one sec. Let me just take the... Yeah, so I was just saying, um, yeah, some some athletes, sportsmen, sort of do like to play that kind of um, the villain. Panto villain. They thrive and on like it. it. Where, yeah, where someone like AJ, maybe to use an example, he you can see he wants the love. Like I always felt that that comment when he said, "Oh, pray for me, everybody." For me, it, it reeks of kind of he wants that support. Tyson Fury, yeah. I don't think he really gives a fuck about all that, really, to be honest. No. He, I think he gets off on it if people are, are writing him off. I think he quite likes it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like, I just, I don't know whether to, like, I, I think Insic will win, but I don't know. He looks really focused, motivated, but then is he just going to take the money and retire because how can you turn down 50 million? Whether you're whether you're ready or you think you can win or not, you're gonna get in there and, and fight, aren't you, for fifty million? Fuck you know. Well, <laughs> Fury can absolutely knock Usyk out. I'm not saying that that isn't possible, but he he is gonna have to potentially go to the well several times, pick himself self up off the floor like he did in the Wilder third fight to be able to do it. That's where I'm going with it yeah. because. I think Usyk has got a good chin. 
He's got good powers of recovery, great footwork. He's 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 very he's like a chameleon. He did, I don't he's very good at showing and not showing that he's hurt as well. He can conceal yes. it. And he can lend it. So he he and he will put his punches together in combinations and it's yeah, Fury can do it, but he might have to well, I think he will have to. He's gonna, yeah, he will have to. He's going to have to go to that well. Um, he can yeah, so I just can't do it. I just don't know whether physically his body will allow it. That's basically what what yeah. I'm trying to get. Chris. I think this is. I think it, this is the way that he he doesn't have to knock him out. I don't believe, but he does have to try and hold his feet a, a lot more than he did last time because he because um, Usyk will yeah. just fucking if you're. Because Usyk will just uh, make you move around too much with his footwear, like he and and take your legs away without you realizing. Yeah, and when he does have Usyk going a bit, and this is where I, I again it's, it's and actually, but then step on, and I just I don't know, I don't know whether the tank's still there, the stamina, because he's always had that ability in years gone by to be able to go um, um, twelve rounds quite comfortably. I, I just yeah. I'm not sure. I worry I a little bit physically. I, I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm saying all this because I want him to prove me wrong. So yeah, like, you know? I think I think he's still he's still he's still there because he didn't he didn't win the twelfth round. I think if I remember rightly, did he come yeah. back and win the twelfth round? Yeah, like yeah. He, he's, he's just yeah. he's, he's, he's just, a, just a little bit a little bit better, and I think that he had the wrong game plan. All that dancing around, pity, pity patty, slap, run away shit. You weren't yeah. hurting him, shit. He was yeah. he was taking a lot of them on the gloves, and then every now and again he was hitting him with an uppercut. But you weren't really holding your feet <coughs> on many of them because you needed to get yeah. off after you landed it. So I just think that like the it was the wrong strategy. So I just think um, he's got the right idea, but <coughs> don't try and go for the knockout and get yourself knocked out. Keep educating yeah. pressure. That's that's it. Yeah. Were the right shot, Chris? Do you remember? Oh, you might not, might, but you know when we was doing our yeah, preview. No, I remember. Coming out the of the south, yeah, coming out out of the <coughs> south, yeah, yeah, trying to show it up top and, and bowl it underneath because coming out of the south poor stance from Usyk, coming in if Fury switches to orthodox fights an orthodox. That's the shot to be made because that that's the shot there against the south poor. So and yeah. and, it, and it was an effective shot. But then when he did kind of, and then Usyk stepped back and, and reconfigured, Fury then stepped off a little bit, almost as if to say, oh, I'll have a brief with myself. So that's when he's then maybe this time, the adjustment is then to try and close the gap again and, and go to town again. I know it's easier said than done. But well done. And the, adjustment the, other, the other thing is his corner. He's got oh, the same man. corner. Yeah. John so Corey. Um, Sugar Hill and um, Sugar Hill and his cousin. What's he called? He used to be a fighter, middleweight champion. Andy Lee. Oh, Andy Lee. Andy yeah, Lee. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. Andy Lee. Like, I like Andy Lee. I do. Yeah. I do. But like, I just think it's bad. Like, I think his dad shouldn't be in the corner. I think he should get rid of his dad because, and um, after to be fair, I don't think his dad and Andy Lee should be in the corner because. I think Sugar Hill should be in the corner and just have a like get stitches to around to be the cut man and get someone else. You don't need, you don't need. You only need one voice. What the? Why does he need two other coaches? Uh, you don't and need also, other, like, too many chefs for the broth. Yeah. One one thing I'd add to that, uh, and I, I know there there was a video about this talking with AJ because AJ, oh, he seems to want to get this reassurance from the corner, like. The, these guys, AJ and Fury, right? They they've been around the block a few times. There isn't much. They know more about boxing than us. They know more about yeah. what they can do more than us, right? How much bloody direct, you know, information specifics do you need, right? Just, you know, just need Sugar Hill in there, a bit like he did in the the, the second Wilder fight, right? Where's the jab? Get back on the jab, right? Let's go. Yeah. A little bit of. Fury knows what he needs to fucking do. Like, you, know, you don't need all these yeah. voices to do this and go to the body and do this and do that. He don't need all that. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think uh, uh, Andy Lee and Sugar Hill were giving different instructions. His dad mm. was telling him he's fucking winning or something or, and, and screaming and shouting at him. Like, 
what his dad brings to that corner, he can do from the crowd. He doesn't bring anything. He can do that sat in the front row. Like Shout out combinations. Of, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he can do that from the fucking from the front row. He don't need to be in the yeah. corner to do that because he's just yeah. screaming and shouting, and he's just telling him to throw a comment like just fucking telling him to, telling him shit that he already knows. Like yeah. that's just not useful whatsoever. And then him and and Andy, I just think get get a cut man, get a spit bucket guy or whatever. But you don't need them two other coaches in a corner. With a head to yes. they're going to keep their mouth shut. They don't need it. Do you mean? As long as you get get, yeah. get a good cut, man, get stitches to run or whoever, and then just get someone else. I'll tell you who's a good who's a good person in the corner. Ricky Hatton. Because he keeps yeah. his mouth shut. When he cornered for, for, for Ben Davidson for the first while of the fight, you never heard Ricky Hatton, apart from being motivating, saying you've got like, you never heard him giving Fury any instructions, even though he even admitted afterwards. I don't know why Ben didn't tell him to go for it. And same with Freddie Roach as well. They kept the mouth shut. Well, Freddie Roach oh, didn't actually, to be fair. Ben, but Ben yeah. Davidson, he told Freddie Roach to shut up. He goes, listen, guys, one voice. I remember that. Yeah. Ben Davidson said, listen, guys, one voice. He, he took yeah. control of his corner, but Sugar, Sugar Hill's like a passive kind of guy. And it's, it's not in his nature to do that. So he just said what he, let them say their shit, Fury and Andy Lee, and then said what he wanted to say. And it just, it's it just really, wasn't a good look, it and it's very bad. Simplified. It needs to be simplified. All, all Fury needs, right? He, he's he knows boxing inside out, right? And he, he all he needs is Sugar Hill or whoever's there in front of him to say, remind him, right? What was the game plan? What have we been working for in camp? Let's go this round. Remember what we said, or just cycle, just yeah. just. That info. What have we been working on? Why aren't you yeah. doing it? What I want to see and in it, the next round. That's all we need. Not not all these voices from everywhere, <laughs> right? Clouding yeah. the judge too much. It's too much. Too many. Too many cuts spoil the broth. Well, uh, we're running out yeah. of time, so we can talk about UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this fight's so intriguing. No, boxing rolls UK. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys.